everyone coming to you again with another underrated film and yes we are talking about blood diamond um blood diamond is a recent film came out 2006 i believe and um it stars leonardo DiCaprio, jennifer connelly and digimon who's huan su huan su uh so I, I apologize if I pronounced that name incorrectly. I am really bad with the names, but um, basically those are the main actors in the film. And basically it is about the diamond conflict that um, I'm, I'm not sure as to how how um, uh, widespread the diamond conflict is today, um, but I know that this is a real issue. Um, they, they address it, and the movie addresses it as such that this is a real, actual problem. That um, I don't know how much uh, influence it has today, but I know that the influence um, at least was there and continues to be there in Africa. Um, but if you want more of an extent on that, I suggest that maybe you do some research of your own and you may discover a little bit about the actual conflict itself. But you have to understand this movie is not really intended to be um, realistic in the sense of the characters and what they go through, but it's trying to address a conflict that is actually real and actually happened. So basically, um, what the diamond conflict is, is that um in these african war zones uh these diamonds are sold in order to finance the conflicts or it, so for example um people will um basically warlords will mine all of the diamonds and they'll give them to and put them into the diamond system uh, where diamonds are basically s sold and um, and then this this ends up um, bringing in a profit for them and then they can use that money to keep the war going so that they can buy things like weapons um, and then also the diamond companies also get value from this because again they're getting the diamonds so it's sort of like this um, sort of sneaky uh, trading business that's been that has been going on, and you'll see how the movie tries to show this. Um, and basically, it, it's hard to tell um, what diamonds are part of war zone and conflict diamonds from diamonds that are just non-conflict. And so you see how um, how the how the warlords are sort of able to get away with this, um, and also you have to what also you have to understand is how the movie portrays it is that these warlords, um, who again did exist, uh, did use their power to try to get people on their side. And what I mean by people, I mean really young boys. So basically, what they do is they attack villages. Um, just innocent people and they try to capture some boys and then sort of train them to be on their side and sort of fight for them and their cause and basically these rebels are called Revolutionary United Front rebels um, and you'll kind of see um, a little bit of the of the rebels and in particular the main guy but for the most part um, they're the ones that are really causing all, all the problems um, and basically how and basically cause what ends up happening to all of the characters pretty much and how the characters end up becoming involved um, so basically um, that's how the movie kind of sets it up within that setting um, and Leonardo DiCaprio's character, his name's Danny Archer, uh, is a gun runner, um, and he also s smuggles diamonds as well. 
um, you'll see this uh, th throughout towards the beginning of the film, how he tries to smuggle them. Um, and then he ends up getting caught and comes into contact with Digimon Hanso's character, whose character's name is Solomon Vandy. And basically, um, they come into contact because Solomon um, was one of these innocent sort of uh, villagers whose village was attacked by these rebels. And basically, um, they end up capturing his son and uh, they capture him at one point and he happens to find um, a really, really big diamond. And this diamond is probably worth a lot of money. Um, and basically, uh, he decides to hide it um, instead of giving it to the rebels because again also the rebels not only do they train like little boys to sort of preach their cause but they also have people working sort of as slaves to find these diamonds and that's what ends up happening to Solomon and basically he finds the diamond and he buries it somewhere so that um, uh, nobody will find it and um, he eventually ends up in jail, same with the Leonardo DiCaprio's character, and then they sort of come into contact and Leonardo kind of understands, okay, S Solomon is someone who I could probably use in order to find that one diamond, because again, um, there is this uh, guy who sort of reveals that Solomon did bury the um, and this is, I think, the, the leader. He, he basically tells Solomon, because he is also in jail as well, and he tells, um, or he's, I, I think he's injured. I'm not sure if they put him in jail or not, but, um, he's injured at one point, and he basically yells at him and says, you know what, I'm, I'm going to find the, where you buried it, and, um, you know, I'll come back for you and your family, basically saying all these threatening things. And Leonardo DiCaprio takes this as, yeah, that's, there, there has to be that diamond. Um, he, he must have found it. And so, and so Leonardo basically is sort of motivated throughout, for the majority of this film, he's motivated by greed. Um, he wants the diamond so that he can get out of Africa. Um, that's kind of his main goal. <laughs> um, and you'll see. Yeah, you'll hear him repeat this sort of throughout the film. Um, you know, I want to get out. I want to get off this continent, and you know, <laughs> he really doesn't want to be there. And he thinks his di this diamond is a scapegoat for him because once he has his diamond, he'll have a lot of money, and then he won't have to live off that la off the African land anymore. So he basically offers sort of Solomon this kind of deal and says, "Hey, you know what? I'll I'll help you. You know, find your family." Because again, that's sort of revealed as well um, when uh, he, when uh, when they're both in jail and by the rebel leader, and this then that basically that's how they end up together, and then how this plot sort of takes its course. Um, and again, you do have the rebels basically are the main conflict here and you'll see how a lot of the the violence in this movie is very sort of sporadic and comes um, at random times and you really get a sense of the atmosphere of what it's like to be in Africa I think for the most part um, and uh, kind of highlights a little bit of you know the poverty and um, gives you a sense of what the people there are going through and how this violence ends up making it even worse. Um, so that's really important to note. Uh, Jennifer Conley's character comes into the picture when, again, in order to get to this particular diamond they have to go to a certain spot. And then along the way they, um, Leonardo DiCaprio finds this finds Jennifer Connelly's character and thinks that he could use her in order for them to uh, be able to get closer to the diamond 
and it's sort of like she is also has her motivations as well being an American journalist her wanting to get the story and basically it's sort of like they they have this kind of deal it's a trade-off um, and she says you know if you give me my story I'll I'll let you go to where you need to go in order to get this diamond so that's how they all kind of come together and um, all three of them and for the most part I think everybody does a really good performance. I mean, I think it's it's the reason why I classify this as more underrated is it's because it was nominated for a lot of stuff, but it never really got a lot of awards. Um, and for the most part, I think Leonardo DiCaprio does a really good job, and I think he's really grown as an actor. And in this role, I think he did a good job of um, playing the guy who was. Um, who the the sort of selfish guy who 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 doesn't see sort of um uh, a point in in trying to to fix things um he he kind of sees the world as a little bit hopeless and he 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 thinks to himself well why should i care um that's kind of his character's mindset and then you see Jennifer Connelly's character who's kind of the opposite because again she's that american journalist she's more for the story and she wants to really help the people that are struggling there. And then you see Jimona Honsu's character who all he wants to do is just to find his son who was captured by these rebels. Um, and you'll see how he discovers that his son is missing and how that becomes a clear motivation for him throughout the majority of the film. So for the most part, um, I, I think that it just lays out everything well. Um, it is sort of fast paced and a lot of things are going to probably be thrown at you, but I think that's sort of how Africa uh, and the way that they want to portray Africa sort of is in a sense, um, especially when you are talking about this kind of a conflict that um, did occur and probably is still occurring in Africa. So I think they they did a the director did a good job of showing us that, um, and it was kind of nice to kind of see Leonardo develop a relationship with uh, Jennifer Connelly's character as well as with um, Solomon, who who is the other character played by Digimon. <laughs> I, oh, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize. Um, but for the most part, uh, I think these uh, what really works in this movie is the characters um, uh, because and the surroundings. Um, I, I think you 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 do end up sympathizing with with all three of them and you kind of see how each one of them has their own separate sort of motivations but how those motivations sort of come together. And then you see Leonardo DiCaprio sort of develop a, a, a relationship with Jennifer Connelly, and then you kind of see him um, grow with the other character, Solomon, as well. So for the most part, uh, I can say that it is a, it is a character sort of based film. Um, uh, but, uh, but what surrounds that is, is, is the, sort of the atmosphere, you know, the, 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 the sense of, um, hopelessness and how this place is just so torn apart, it's just so messed up, um, Africa, that it's, you kind of understand where everybody's kind of coming from, um, particularly the three main characters. So you do kind of get a sense of what they're like um, and how you do probably have those kinds of perspectives maybe in real life um, when we're dealing with such a conflict as probably Africa because I think even uh, the things that are going on in Africa right now could be classified as really big conflicts. So. The movie tries to establish that, I think, through the characters, by their surroundings. Again, with, like, the sporadic violence and with, um, uh, each character's reasonings behind that violence, um, I think is really highlighted in the film and, 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, um, really good acting by Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Connelly is enjoyable too. And I like too how, um, uh, Danny and, um, Jennifer Connelly's character, um, and again, Danny is the character that Leonardo DiCaprio plays. I like how they're, they're kind of in a sort of, um, relationship, but it's not really fully, like, they do share scenes together, but they don't really, um, fully bloom into, like, a romance. Um, I kind of liked how that was kept sort of to a minimum, uh, but you do kind of feel the sense of, yeah, they, they do sort of, you know, like each other, but, um, it, it's very downplayed, I think, for the most part. Um, but you do really like the two together, because, again, she, she kind of sees the world differently than he does, and you, you kind of see how they kind of clash, but at the same time, they do have sort of this nice chemistry on screen, so that was enjoyable to watch. Um, it's also enjoyable to watch uh, the Solomon, um, um, you know, sort of express his um, f feelings and his uh, passion for trying to find his son and to sort of bring his family together again. Um, and you kind of see how that really resonates in the film, um, and how it affects Jennifer Connelly's character as well as, um, Leonardo DiCaprio's character. So, f for the most part, uh, it's very, it's, it's a, it's a really, um, I think, heartfelt film at times. Especially with all of the violence, you, you really do see the the heart that the characters have. You kind of see how Leonardo DiCaprio's character sort of changes towards the way, way end. Um, and how he sort of ultimately decides to sort of do the, the right thing. Um, and you kind of see how they are trying to get through this plot and how all this stuff keeps keeps being thrown at them especially with the rebels and you will kind of see how the the army who is also part of this film as well sort of plays into the the whole diamond struggle and then you see maybe a little bit of the diamond company and how they're just basically a bunch of corporate greedy um uh, nincompoops who just want money. Um, you sort of see that as well, and you, you do get a sense of the sort of materialism in, in, uh, Western society and how we sometimes don't really think about these things, and I think this film really addresses things on that level and does make you think about, okay, where do all the stuff that I have come from, and, uh, what does it mean where it comes from, and why should I care where it comes from? Uh, it's, it's, it is that kind of a film, and I think that's really all I can say about, about it. It's just really good and how it, in, through the acting, through the surroundings, and through the relationships with the characters, you do get a sense of, um, how they do try to set this, this, uh, setting up with something that actually is and was happening, um, and that being the conflict diamonds that are going on in Africa. And so I think that's really all I can, can really say for the most part. Um, definitely worth considering, um, definitely worth uh, tr trying to, I think, if you, if you like, I, I guess I could say I would, I, I think people who like movies that deal with things that are kind of, uh, in the realms of political conflict or films about, say, 
um, real life sort of um, uh, events, but maybe take a fictional approach to it in order to make a story, um, then yeah, I think it's that's definitely um, that this this film will really do really will resonate with you. I think if you like those kinds of movies. Um, another film as well, uh, Hotel Rwanda is another film that is, that also deals with a real conflict and, uh, that happened. So, if you like those kinds of films and you don't mind them maybe incorporating, s uh, fiction to it, then I think that you can come out of this film really, um, enjoying it for the most part um but again some people may not find this particular uh, uh, uh story or event interesting i find it interesting and i find it very compelling um and i think the way that the film sets it up is is really well done um and definitely worth recommending. Uh, f for the most part, I don't really know why um, it has it has positive reviews. It's just it's from what I've researched. It says it's it's mixed but positive, <laughs> and I didn't really understand that. But I think it's just because um, a tons of other films that came out during the time just got more popular and more um, resonative. And then uh, this one, I think, just kind of went a little bit under the bus, and I think that people should kind of be more aware of it. Um, again, there is a lot of violence in this film. There is a lot of um, really kind of crazy stuff because, you, again, you do see the kids. You do, at some scenes, you do see the kids, including Solomon's son, sort of being manipulated into sort of being this warlord. And you'll kind of see that sort of play out. Um, but again, this is actually true. There are still child soldiers in Africa. Um, and, and, and the end of the film, it says, it, it tries to give, you know, some facts towards the end. And it says like 200,000 kids, I think they say in Africa, when this film came out, that are still like soldiers in Africa. Um, and it's 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 really crazy it's it's almost like you wonder these things could really happen but the thing is 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 a lot of what happens in this film is is sort of resignative of on onto that conflict and onto um african poverty in general so uh just very i think very recommendable uh, <laughs> Something in my throat. Uh, but I think that's really all I can say. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, more than happy to answer them. Um, and I think that the important thing is, is is that just people become more aware. And I think I, I like that fil films who try to make people more aware of a certain thing that's actually something that happened or is happening and uh, I think this film conveys that really well so um, yeah totally recommendable if, if you're interested and again any questions comments concerns more than happy to answer them and until next time